Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car today with the new Renault Megane E-Tech. We know all the ID models from Volkswagen, the Enyaq from Skoda, the electric Peugeot, Citroëns and Opels. But we haven't heard anything electric from Renault recently. They have been amongst the first with the Soe, but then there has been a very long time of absolutely nothing. Now they try to be back in the game and try to beat Volkswagen on the electric avenue with a totally new platform, totally new design, totally new car. If you want to know what to expect from that vehicle that will come to the market in spring 2022, join me on my test drive and I'll tell you more about it here on Thomas Geiger car. As I already said, Renault has tried to find a totally new design language for its first dedicated electric car of the new age. So the car is very slim, very sleek, very aerodynamic and as we know it from all the other electric models the door handles are flush and only come out if you want to open the door but in contrary to the most Volkswagen Skoda and Audi models the Megane E-Tech is not an SUV it is a proper sexy hatchback with a really attractive rear end the car measures 4 meters and 20 so it is golf segment compact class and as every electric vehicle with a dedicated platform, it is very roomy inside. We have a large wheelbase, short overhangs. That means even on the back seat, I have enough space for adults. And we have a really big trunk, almost 400 liters in size. The only disadvantage, I have to lift my load very high to come over that cliff. But overall, very roomy and a sexy car, not another boring SUV. For the start, Renault is offering the Megane E-Tech with two battery packs, 40 kilowatt hours and 60 kilowatt hours net. That means 300 kilometers of range up to 470 kilometers of range in the WLTP cycle. Charging at the fast charger is with up to 130 kilowatts. That means you'll get your energy for 300 kilometers in about half an hour in the best case. You also have the choice between two motors, 130 and 220 horsepower. But other than at the Volkswagen models, these motors are not mounted to the rear axle, but to the front axle. That saves about 100 kilos of weight in cables and cooling is the argument that the Renault engineers are bringing up. But that does not necessarily mean the platform is not capable for an all-wheel drive. Maybe not in the Megane, but in other derivatives that are coming on that platform, you will get another motor on the back and proper all-wheel drive. Driving figures are as you might expect them in the compact class. The 220 horsepower model goes from 0 to 100 in about 7 seconds and top speed is governed with 160 kilometers per hour. But the car reaches that speed very easily and has lots of torque and lots of power to go there. Decreasing the speed is also easy to adjust because it has four different sets for regenerative braking. You're coasting in the lowest setting like without any brake power or you have the proper one pedal feel if you go in the highest setting. You just lift the foot from the acceleration pedal and the car almost stops until the standstill. Compared to other Renault models, the Megane E-Tech looks pretty futuristic. We have a digital cluster instrument, we have that big screen here and for the first time we have an operating system based on Google. So we have an easy navigation, we have a proper voice assistant and we have an easy operating of all the additional features. Compared to Volkswagen, it is much more user-friendly, not as distracting, easier to operate and to my taste also better looking. Talking about looks, the disadvantage of the great look of the Megane E-Tech is the bad view to the rear. The car is so low and the rear window so narrow that you don't see anything once you turn around and look toward the back. 
Yes, this car is made for a bright future and Renault is desperately looking ahead. But if you have to look back, you don't see a lot through this window. But at least the engineers are compensating that with a digital rear view mirror, giving you a bright view in both directions. Thanks for joining me on that first drive with a new Renault Megane E-Tech. Definitely a hot entry in the ever-growing segment of compact electric vehicles. It looks great, it drives good and its technology is up to date. Yes, Renault is two or three years later than Volkswagen Group with the ID models and it's definitely not further developed. But it is at the point at the moment and Renault is definitely back in the race with that vehicle.